Here's the control panel. Power switch is on. Notice the lights came on in the case. Now, off and touch to start. We'll touch the touch screen and the oven will come up showing up to 15 different cooked menus. You would toggle down to each one of them. When you choose one, you would hit the go and the program would show and you would have the choice of preheating or cook. Always pick the preheat first. To go back to the beginning program, we'll hold the X down and we're now back at the beginning program again. Note the knob is the advanced knob. When the door is open, the rotisserie stops and this is to advance to the next spit. Notice when we open the door, the rotation stops immediately. When the door is closed, the rotation starts again. Note here we're opening the heat glass, the protective glass from the surface glass, which will keep the oven cool on the outside and warm on the inside. To advance, once the door is open, we'll use the advance button to advance the rotisserie for loading or offloading of chicken. To break down the unit, slide the two rings to the inside and then the two collars in and lift out the shaft. Be aware that that shaft will be very hot for a long period of time after the oven stops. We're pulling off the idle wheel and now the drive wheel. We'll remove those from the cavity. Now we'll remove the grease diverters that divert the grease to the hole in the center of the rotisserie, which leads to the grease catch below. Removing both. This surface will stay hot when cooking, but when the drippings go down into the catch tray below, they will be cooled and be no hotter than 85 degrees. Removing the fan cover and dropping down, this needs to be done every night. And now you've broken down the interior of the oven completely. The fans and the blades need to be cleaned. They can be removed and soaked, but they need to be cleaned every day. These are the uh, cow rods and the heat diverter where the air is pulled over the elements and down into the cavity. This is the grease faucet that attaches to the grease catch to catch all of the grease coming out of the rotisserie. Note the oven has a gasket which needs to be washed with soap and water each day. We'll put the drive wheels back in. This is the drive wheel side that has key locks that lock into the shaft. And now we'll put the idle side in which spins only. To put the center bar back in, the two pegs have to match and have the rounds toward the top. We'll slide the bar back in, drop into position, move the collars over and the washers into the lock position on both sides, which finishes the reconstruction of the inside drive unit. And now we'll put the Grease diverters back in, putting the back unit in first and the front unit in second. To put the spits in, you will choose the center hole in the grouping and then back the legs into the two holes that correspond. You'll be doing that with full product directly into the middle hole and backing it into the right hand side. In using the goosers, which we'll demonstrate, a long bar goes into the large hole and then the short bar goes in and locks in place, allowing the chicken to rotate correctly. For the wire basket, it's the same way with the long shaft going in first 
and the short shaft with the lip dropping into the drive wheel. For more information, please contact BKI Customer Service directly at 1-800-927-6887. Thank you.